I'm listening. Okay. I'm, I'm listening okay. to you. I'm, it's just you and me, buddy. You you look Listen, you, dude. You, okay, you, you know what? You, I'm not you know I'm not time, worried time, about the time. chat. Stop, Let me just stop, stop, stop. You you look good. Hey, I appreciate it, man. You, you look the, good. The haircut the haircut is tight. The beard mm-hmm. looks good. The top looks good. You look clean. Hey, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. But listen, I uh that's not gonna make me forget about what I just heard come out of your mouth. Well, I, it it seems like you forgot about a lot, honestly. Like when 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 I think about it, because I, I've been watching the stream. What and, and, and what, off, you, what, and off what do you what do you think? Off the about? bat, you were impugning my authenticity. I'll say that. Like we no we, no no. We, we, explain we, what you had, mean. Explain we, what you we mean. We had a nice long chat about my feelings on Drake and all that. And and mm-hmm. and you you still think I'm I'm just trolling? You think I'm not real? You think I'm not being honest with my feelings? I think you're being harsh. I think you're being extra harsh okay. because you know that it's funny, or like you know it's some type I'm, I'm of not, like I'm not people laughing. People like I'm not laughing. I'm listen, not laughing. people this like not, Drake not a joke Slander. to me. This is not a joke to me. But so you don't think it's okay. So because I watch other reviews too. I don't just watch the Drake one. Okay. You also like make memes out of like, uh, like Nav. I'm not comparing Nav and Drake, but like, dude, there's, there's so many artists that are horrible, Mm. but somehow Nav is just so like, just the worst person ever. Like that doesn't make sense, bro. Who, who, who out there in your opinion is, is worse than Nav? So many, dude, okay. Just, just so there's so many. Just people. name three. Just any three. Just throw any three out there. Any three people any, that you just rated higher. Throw just any, any three, three out people. there, dude. I think he's one of the. I think he's one of the best. Uh, okay, just name three people <laughs> who are worse. Just any three. It could be anybody. Um. I mean, I don't want to. I don't want to see. I don't want to put that negativity. I don't oh, want to shit on somebody. Stop it! Stop don't it! Do stop! That. Don't don't okay, make, don't, don't make do a that. claim yeah, that you're okay. not going to back yeah, up. Don't make a Russ. claim that you're not going to back up. Come on. Okay, he's better than Russ. Yeah, he's better than Rush. Uh, Russ. I mean, okay. um, I mean, what? Uh, Ye- oh, definitely better than Yeet. That dude's ass. Um, you, 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 okay. So, so I, I could see, I could see Russ is sort of like a difference of taste. And Lil I mean, Pump, yeah, Russ, Russ is going to bring a different yeah, vibe Pump, to attract the Nav, but, but, but I, I, th- I think comparatively like Yeet is a little bit closer because I mean, you know, Nav and Yeet are very much about the vibe that they're bringing to the table. They're not super, bo- you, know, you know, they're not both super lyrical or anything. You, you think, you think sonically Yeet is like way worse than the Nav? <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you. I've heard one Yeet song in my life. So that's, okay. I, re- I, I actually don't know like what I just, people just keep saying Yeet every day and it makes me yeah. not want to listen to it. Got it. I mean, I don't I, know I, I'm mean. not the biggest Yeet fan myself, but I mean, vocally, yeah. I, I find Yeet to be a lot more expressive than Nav. I mean, for, for me, a lot of the, the Nav humor kind of comes from the fact that like, I just don't think he brings a lot of personality to the mic, you know? And, and that's kind of yeah. where a lot of my issues with Nav start and end. But what, okay, so but I, I I get it, I get it, I get it. So let's get back on track though, because okay. we're talking about Drake. We're not talking about Nav, right? Whatever, we're talking about Drake. So what I I've seen your Drake reviews, and mm-hmm. on your last one, and your whatever, um, a few times you've brought up this. Uh, oh, you know, Drake is kind of uh, doing the same stuff or going through the motions, or uh, you know, same style, whatever. So now. He comes in with it literally an entire album that he's never done this before, where it's just all like kind of like dancey type, like singing tracks and, mm-hmm. and not really a lot of rapping, right? Mm-hmm. So he switches it up. Yeah. He switches up for critics like, you know, you and other people the, the, who have said, like, oh, he who doesn't. wanted him to do something different. Yes. Yeah, so he switches up, but now it's and, like, oh, and now, well, and now we're not, not happy. We're I not wanted, happy bro. now. We just, we just won't like anything. I know. I yeah, know. yeah. So we're, I so, want to hear what you have to say to that. What are people who say that? What do you have to say back to that? Look, I, I like that he switched it up. I just think he's still not trying. I think he's not putting in the effort. Like, okay, t- you, you've been talking about this fucking Texco Green track. Hum me the melody of that track. Uh, <laughs> it's the dude, hum, like hum the me rock. the melody of the song. Los. Listen, listen, listen. The stuck hum me the, me- hum me the fucking melody hours. to that song if it. it's so fucking catchy. I don't know it. It's 72 hours. Ba, 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 but I don't even <laughs> like the fucking song, and I can hum the melody to you. 
It's not yeah, a catchy okay. fucking song. It doesn't stick. You, you were talking earlier about how nobody's going to put these songs on in the club. Nobody's going to say, this is trash. Shut it off. Of course they're not. It's background music. It's wallpaper. Well, Nobody's going to tell you to turn it off okay. because it doesn't sound what like about anything. The weekend? It's background okay, what about noise. The Weeknd's newest it's, album? It's, it's, so, it's, it's not so loud that you can't talk to some girl who you're trying to get in her pants. So you're not okay, going to tell anyone to shut it off. It's just okay, a vibe. So it's just background the weekend, noise. You're not, you're not even committing it to album. your memory. You're talking about how great it is. Yeah. You can't even hum me the fucking song. Listen, listen, listen. Uh, listen to me. <laughs> I, I am listening to you. You sound ridiculous. I'm saying this. I'm saying this. Tell me, what about the weekend's newest album, Dawn FM? What what about it? It's the same type of thing, bro. He's, no, wait, it's just what? like background what? music. It's the, it's the same type of thing as this. Yeah, it's background music, bro. It's it's dance, like it's in a club type music. It's like like it's not supposed to be like dissected, bro. Like there's no dude, there's no there, there weekend song on the album. On where that I'm record like, with strong choruses, super like movie trailer sized instrumentals, not like little looping forgettable bleeps and bloops like on fucking falling back. Like, like so you're just saying like you're just like, oh, I like like I like the melody more on a like I don't know what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, I like, I like the melody more in a piece of music. Is that a novel concept to you? Like, like melody and being in a song and you like the some melody. Of these Drake songs are not songs. Yeah, I, I don't think that one particular song is much of a song because it's literally an intro that cuts off. It's a random inter interruption, and then it's you know your pussy is calling my name. Which, granted, that is one of the catchier parts of the record, but it doesn't really build out into anything. You know, there's only a I couple know. refrains on this thing that kind of stand out. Refrains or choruses. One of them is that. The other one is, um, what is it? Try, 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 try. Like, how long did they fucking spend in the studio on that one? Like, Listen, tried, tried, okay, tried, okay, tried, okay. tried, 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 tried. Like, did, did they did all, they spend weeks hammering that one out? First of all, don't ever do that again. That was I don't know what that was. Okay, <laughs> that's number one. Of course, you don't know what it is because you don't remember anything off this fucking well, record that, was, that you that love didn't so much. That resemble anything on a Drake album. If you think it did, you're, that's insane. Number two, I get what you're saying. You're like, oh, dude, the this, this shit that you're saying. You're like, oh, yeah, they really like took a long time to work on that, dude. How many artists are like, oh, we? I went into the booth one time and recorded like a hit song. Like people, like some people take months or years. Like Kendrick Lamar took years to make this album. Um, some people they just make a song in like a day or two, bro. Yeah. Like, how does that mean? Like, because it's Drake, you you expect him to like do it like in such like a crazy like. So, okay, here, here's where, the difference. Here's just the difference. Be, make because, a song just for what, a song. What you're saying is true. What you're saying is true. And it, it, it's actually universally true for everybody. Even guys like Kendrick will go into the studio and in 30 minutes, they'll, they'll bang out a track that will actually end up on their record. You know, I, I was interviewing Logic recently and he just came out with a new album. And he says the, the new record that he just put out, Vinyl Days, which yeah. is pretty good, uh, production, lyrics, everything, he recorded in 12 days. And there's like, you know, 30 tracks on it, including interludes. That, that doesn't leave a whole lot of time for every single song. You know what I mean? So, so yeah. there, there are a lot of artists who produce work really fast. But here's the thing. Like, regardless, if, if you're making trash, you should have the filter to be able to, when you're finished with it, whether it took you a long time or a short time, to be like, oh, you know what? This didn't turn out too good. Let me just head in a different direction or make some alterations or add to it so that there's actually some dynamics to it. And it's not the same shit for five minutes. So you listen to the logic album. You said he made it in 12 days. What did you think about it? Um, I think it's decent. I think it's pretty good. I mean, I, I, it's not my favorite album in the world, but I, I, I guess I liked it more than the Drake record. And so do you think that Drake took more than 12 days to work on this album? Again, it has nothing to do with the amount of time. It has to do with whether or not when you come out with something or when you put something together, do you have the ability to edit yourself and say, yeah, this this wasn't my best. This wasn't, you know, a, a, a great piece of work I put together. Let me move on to the next thing or give the fans something else. You know what I mean? It's not that he worked on it fast. It's that he's working on it fast and he's not caring about how it comes out. Because obviously the sound quality of the tracks reflect that the lack of lyrics that you actually want to dive into reflect that the lack of melodies that you actually fucking remember uh, reflects that. 
But every Drake album that has come out, there are catchy and catchy and catchy songs. I just on every asked album. you to. I just asked you to hum a melody from the but fucking song that you were playing on stream before I came on stream. Came you came you literally listened to the song twenty minutes before we had this conversation. Days, and you couldn't recall it. First of all. I was three days. Can I like? First what do you mean three days? You, 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 you were listening to the song twenty minutes. You you booted that song. The fuck. You literally went on stream and said, hey, "Yo, this song's about when uh, you block a girl because they're crazy. That's so relatable. Everybody could do that." But you can't remember the fucking melody from the song that you love so much because you can relate dude, to it. Dude, dude, fine, fine. I'm sorry. I can relate more to Texco Green than the than the my my aunt's my uncle now. Like, I'm sorry, bro. I'm, I can't relate. I'm sorry. Does that mean, like, I'm not woke enough to listen to... Like, dude, I, listen, I just want to go all, to the all fucking asking party. You, listen, I just all, listen to a song, bro. Why does it have to be this crazy shit? <laughs> like, it doesn't need to be. I think that's what Drake's trying to do here. It's like telling other artists, like, yo, look at me. You don't have to be some sh crazy shit. Just fucking whatever you want to do. I'm not even advocating for it to be crazy. All I'm saying you are, is that- You're advocating look. for Drake to be like, hey, listen, I have to go sit in the mountains of Wyoming and like isolate myself for nine- Dude, you are, bro. You and you're, That would be the effort for you to, to accept it. That would be it. Drake can't just go in his studio for a month and, and like make something. He can't. He's not allowed, bro. Because it's Drake, right? Look, Come on, bro. Look, all of, you know I'm right, dude. All I'm trying to say to you, all I am trying to say to you, all I'm trying to like say to you is that, look, for a great track, a great track. And Drake has made great tracks, okay? Drake has made great of course. tracks. For a great track, there should be layers. You should have a great beat. You should have a memorable chorus. You should have verses that you actually want to rap along with. You should have a melody that sticks out to you. Like, you can have multiple aspects to a song that are appealing. And all I'm saying about that track and many songs off this record is that the melodies suck. And the reason the melodies suck is because Drake isn't thinking about any of the melodies. He's just coming on the fucking mic and going, It's not a fucking melody you want to sing along with. It's just some boring ass shit. So, so, okay. When you're saying, okay, so let's, I'm just going to reference the Kendrick album because that's the closest thing that I can like, for someone, because you rated his album, what did you rate it? Like an eight or yeah, not, like an eight. It? I gave it an eight. And, okay, okay, okay. So that's good to you. That was good to you. I like the album too. Right. On that album, there's maybe three songs where you like, like want to sing along or something on that album. There really are. The other songs... And dude, I've listened to that album like ten times. Okay. Like, I can, did you I, like the it? other songs are not like that. Did you like it? I did. I liked the album, but it's not. A, it's not the. It's. I didn't like it the way I liked this type of album, where I can like listen to the songs and not have to like, you know, it's not like I can put it on the car with anyone in the car. I don't have. If I put on a Kendrick thing in the car, mm -hmm. it's like some deep shit. Like it doesn't make sense, bro. Yeah. I don't know. That that's all I'm saying. But because you were talking about melodies, that's that's what I was saying. Like you're saying melodies, so I'm thinking about catchy shit. Well, I'm just saying Am melodies I because Drake is singing for the majority of this record. Um, I get yeah. that there are songs on the Kendrick record like "We Cry Together" that you know you're not singing along with it. It's just you know pretty much like a fight. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but there are tracks like fucking N95 with Keem What's a fight? that are that are really catchy. What is a fight? What do you, no, I mean we what cry fight? together, the song where they're arguing on the song. You yeah, know what I'm yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, yeah. Where, where it's like yeah, him yeah. and the significant the one, the other, one in the country album, yeah. Yeah. I, obviously there's not like a catchy melody to that track. You know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. But the thing is, like, that song is a fucking experience that that no other song is going to give you. And but the thing is, I'm not even holding Drake to that standard. I truly am, honestly, not, because all I need to do, or all I all I feel I need to do, is like just literally recall his past hits where he seemingly put effort into like the stru in, into the structure of a track. You're talking about like how you know nobody with these songs would ask for them to be turned off in the club. And and sure, that's true. I agree with you. But the thing is, like, if you want to like have a club night where everybody's having a fun time and going crazy, having a memorable night. You want to put on back to back. You don't want to put on yeah. these sleepy ass songs that nobody's paying attention to. Like if you put on back to back, everybody's going to go crazy and everybody's going to be talking about like, Oh, remember when that happened with Meek Mill and blah, blah, blah. blah. But it's dude, like dude, but this time. is the, it, here's where it's just, it's like really hard to rate albums when they first come out because dude, 
There are now songs on Scorpion, and most people didn't even like Scorpion like that. But there are some songs on Scorpion now that if they come on, it's like, oh shit, like that's like a good song. And even like other albums like Views, you I know you don't like Views. There are songs that it can comes on, you're like, oh damn. But like when it first came out, people didn't care like that. So that's what I'm saying. It's like we're talking about these songs. Like this shit came out three days ago, and you're saying it's not memorable. Who? How do you know what's memorable in three days? That's Look, my point. And listen, you're not listen, the only one saying that. People I, are I, saying I, that. I will tell you that there are tracks that stand off, that stand out on Scorpion. Kiki, do you love me? Like, I get it. I understand. Yeah. But the thing is, like, that was the fans that kind of decided that was the hit off of just kind of streaming it like crazy. And they're kind of being a viral trend off of it with the dancing outside the fucking car. Um, that wasn't like a track that Drake and everybody made in the studio and decided that was going to be the single. You know what I mean? But, you know, still, with that being said, uh, yeah, there are highlights on Scorpion, but the whole fucking record is 90 minutes long and it's mostly a snooze. You know what I mean? It's like, uh, yeah, it's, and it's when, really when, when not. I'm ta- when I'm no, talking about bro. that record, I'm talking about the overall experience. You know what I mean? Like, sure. Like a broken clock is going to be right twice a day. Like you can come out with a 90 minute album and there will be like three to five fucking bops on it. <laughs> three to five. There's like two skips on Scorpion. <laughs> two. There's like two. <laughs> And like, I, like yeah, I, one of them's you know, like the I, Jay-Z I respect song. It. You, you, you mean it. I respect it. There's like two, dude. I, I, I mean, wait, hold on. Let me, oh, I, I actually genuinely want to see, I, I, for myself, I want to see this. I'm pulling it up on my shoe. But also, okay, again, I'm not skipping views, survival, like, nonstop, elevate, a, uh, hotline bling is the best fucking track from that record. And that track came out like months before, before the record was out. I'm skipping talk up. Okay. That's, that's very brave of you. I'm skipping that. Maybe Ratchet Happy Birthday, but depending on my mood, maybe not. <laughs> depending on my mood. <laughs> and then, dude, besides that, no. Maybe the one, uh, maybe this after dark shit. Like, dude, I'm not getting maybe two. But people go back and they 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 don't they just think like, oh dude, Scorpion was asked. But when you actually look at it, no, it's not. This is what happens with every, in my opinion, every single Drake album, bro. Every album. No, I, I I will agree to an extent because Drake keeps putting out albums that th- this this new album over here, this new album over here, it does make me rethink whether or not I should go back to CLB because I because after having heard this, I may enjoy CLB more. <laughs> that's that's the most like condescending like backhanded like. <laughs> that makes no wait, 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 t- time, time. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna act. You, you, you think I'm a troll? I'm gonna, I'm gonna genuinely troll one time. I'm gonna genuinely troll one time. <laughs> yeah, honestly, right. never mind. More like honestly, never mid. Yeah, okay, you know what? It. I might have to end the fuck, dude. So, you're gonna end the phone dude, call, <laughs> dude? No, 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 no. I no, my whole stream, not even the call, my you're stream, just, like literally every stream, <laughs> dude. Certified lover boy. Because it has a goofy name, has been like memed and shit on. There are no bad songs on the album, bro. There's no bad ones. Hey, wait, time. I'm 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 streaming as well during this. So if you if you just get off stream, raid to me, please, and then we'll just have this I, conversation without you. The vi- okay, vice versa. I, yeah, I got you. <laughs> but no, I, I mean, dude, I, I'm I'm looking at it. Okay, tell me a bad song and start off the top of your head. A bad what, one. Fucking way too sexy is awful. Come on, man. What? Okay, you know what? I think that. God damn it, bro! Like that. Like <laughs> wait, time, time. We need. We need to stop. We nobody. Nobody's here to talk about old fucking albums. I, I need to ask you, why? Why do you fucking like Liability? Come on, man. Dude, Liability it's, it's is just one a of those bad songs. Drake song slowed down. That's all it is. Liability is one of those songs. See, I don't think you're in the mood what, for wait, this no, album. Finish that thought. One of what songs? It's one of the... I was going to say, I don't think you're in the mood. It's it's You need to be in a type of mood to listen What's to that. What's the mood? Tell me the mood. The mood is like, it's 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 1 a.m. It's it's You're in the backyard. It's literally 1 a.m. right fucking now where I am. It's so please, tell me what else needs the, to be... The, tell the, tell the, me what else I fucking need to like this song. It's dark out. You're in the it's front dark of your house. Out at one a- house. I've never, it's never been 1 a.m. when it's been light. So please that's go on. That's not true. In Alaska, that's not true. Bro. Uh, well, I'm not in fucking Alaska. All right. Well, all I'm saying is it's like one of those nighttime, like you're just thinking. Like it's just one of those. You're not thinking about what Drake's saying. You're just thinking, bro. 
Yo, you, know, you were talking about this record earlier about, about like like it's a fucking party record, and now you're saying like, and and then mm. you were making fun of my laptop analogy, like oh party party by yourself doesn't even make sense, and now you're saying yeah no. these songs are for when you're by yourself and you're thinking like what the that fuck is the, it? That was one of the most insane things I've ever heard in my life. This is literally all shit you said. If it's insane, then it's no, you're insane. No, if it's saying, insane, then you think you are insane because I'm saying shit that came out no, of your mouth. I'm saying what you said. Nobody's having a party by themselves on their laptop blasting music, bro. Who? What okay, human is listen, doing listen, that? Listen, it's it's. <laughs> Dude, I think that you've done that a few times. I it's, think you've done it's, that. It's it's an exaggerated illustration. It's it's an exaggeration to illustrate my point. Like obviously, I'm I'm painting a picture of someone in isolation listening to the record, having like a sad little kind of head bobbing groove little moment by themselves, just listening to Drake on their laptop. That's all I'm saying. It's, I'm, I'm not too far off from what you're describing. Like, yeah, this song's about when you know it's one a.m. and it's dark out as well. On top of it, and you're just thinking. You're not thinking about the lyrics, but you're thinking, dude. Have you never went? Okay, listen. I, you know, I, I know you haven't. But for the other people who are watching, have you ever went on a Drake and Drive, bro? That might sound a Drake corny. and Drive. Sure, that's, sure, that's sure. not a term. Nobody sound, says that. Do people actually people say, say that? Drake you know, and no, no, drive? I say they say that shit, bro. I'm saying you just driving at night. Drake comes okay, on. You're okay, not even listen, listening listen. to when, the lyrics, when, bro. I, okay, listen. I will. I will admit. <laughs> I will, I will, I will admit that when if you're reading this, it's too late. Came out. I, I did go on a couple Drake and drives. Okay. Yeah. And how did that feel? How did it feel? It, it, it was, it was like driving to. It was like driving to any other kind of music I like. <laughs> <laughs> Drake and drive. <laughs> Dude, 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 the, police, the police pull you that's over for that. Drink and drive. <laughs> no, you wait. Well, you never heard like the joke, like you drink and drive and end up at your exes, like driving past your exes. You never heard that? Uh, no, I, I've, I've, I've not, I've not heard that. Drake has never made me want to drive to my ex's place. Dude, okay, well then it didn't hit. You, it didn't touch you emotionally then, <laughs> well, I, because I, it I, touches I, do, other do you people. Think Drake though? is the only artist that I listen to who sings about their ex. Um, you, 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 you guys in, talk in, about Drake in a relatable like he's way, yeah. in that. Like men have literally been singing about their exes like for over uh, for hundreds of years now. I mean, m like maybe I don't know. I haven't listened to hundreds of years of music. I don't know, but I'm just saying that in today's day and age, Drake is the most like it, the way he says shit is the most relatable. That I've seen. I mean, okay. other people say other shit, but it's like unrelatable shit. Okay. And like the normal person can't relate to. Okay. I don't know. I mean, you don't think Drake's music is at least relatable? Well, I, I, th I think it's relatable in the sense that it's it's so nonspecific that like, yeah, per yeah, everybody can relate to it. Yeah. Every everybody can relate to it because the details are so low. Like, yeah, every everybody has an ex that they miss. Yeah, I, I can relate to that. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 let me ask you this. What this is, you know what? This is the question I've been wanting to ask you for actually probably even longer than the before we even talked last time. Do it. Okay? Ask me. What would Drake what would be a great Drake album for you? Like what would he have to do that I, would I, make I, you, you already know I love if you're reading this is too late. If you're reading this is too late? Yeah, I love that record. Let me go back to that. Let me see. <clears throat> There's so many great songs on that record. There's great production, super standout lyrics, uh, lyrics that are super catchy. There's great choruses, fucking 10 bands, 100 bands, fucking energy, uh, fucking Know Yourself, uh, Madonna is great, Six God. Like, there's so many great fucking tracks on that record. Um, 6 p.m. in New York, I think, is one of his, you know, better diary like tracks and closers. No, I dude, I agree. This is one of his best albums. Yeah. Um, but my thing is this though: is there any nostalgia behind it, or are you just like, oh no, it's just it's no, that I good. loved it when I first heard it. I gave it a positive review. Like as soon as you heard it, you, yes, you were like, as soon like, as I fucking heard this record, I loved it. You can look up the review. I loved it when I first heard it. Yeah. No. 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 I will agree with you. That is one of his. That is one of his best albums. Um, I just can he even do that? Because it's like. The, the point when he released that, it was kind of like, oh, shit. Like, he never he never did anything really like that before. 
I mean, I, I will say this era for Drake, considering this, considering, you know, back to back and stuff like that. He, he was like on fire. He was super hungry during this time. He was super hungry, yeah. super on fire during this time. And uh, I mean, I, I think he could if he wanted to, but I think he's past the point where he feels like he needs to prove anything to anybody, you know, and he's just doing whatever the fuck he wants uh, with whatever energy level he can muster. And, and <sighs> interesting. So you, so that's, so that's where you think Drake is right now. You think he's just, he's chilling. Yeah, it's, it's and where I think he's been. We literally talked about this in the last conversation. You yourself observed how depressed he sounded on most of the record on CLB. I mean, my thing is just like, I can I never know when, like with a lot of artists, I can, you can tell like, like the, I'll, I'll bring up Kendrick again. You can tell he's been working on that. Right, like you know, like the time period that sure. he's been working on it, right? Sure. With with Drake, I don't know, like, because there's been leaked songs that I've heard like a year ago, and then it's on CL. But you know what I mean? I don't know when he's working on it, and that's why I, I think another reason why, uh, if you're reading this is too late, is really good, is because you will, you know, like that's what he was just doing, mm -hmm. and he's like, oh, I just made this boom here. I don't know. Like, I feel like there's some weird thing where, like, I don't know, like, when he's making these songs. Um, in the la at least in the last two albums, I guess. I don't know if that if that makes sense. I don't know if anyone's following my train of thought. <laughs> I mean, on on the last record, I think that kind of makes sense, given that I feel like he's kind of been inhabiting many of the same vibes on the past couple of records. But this new one over here, I I, I think this was kind of a g given, you know, kind of the similarly very claustrophobic, uh, you know, compressed, uh, sounds on many of the tracks and kind of the similar vocal and singing styles on a lot of the songs. I, I think this new record was kind of a concentrated effort. I mean, I could be wrong, but uh, I, I think he kind of made this in a condensed period. And what's of time. your, wait, what's your, I, I don't think I asked you this last time. What's your problem with more life? I see you shit on more life a lot, but that that's got some good songs on it. I feel like you really it, it shit has on a it. couple of good tracks on it that I like. You know, I love Free Smoke. Um, you know, but the thing about it is, is that many of the songs on there sound sort of thrown together and unfinished. And I get that it's supposed to be like a playlist and everything, but I, I think it's just kind of an excuse to throw a bunch of clips together. <sighs> All right. So then I guess, I guess you kind of answered it by saying, if you're reading this too late, but I'm saying now today, what would Drake need to do? That would Look, be him putting again, in I'll effort. I'll say this new record could have been great. This new record could have been great. I think the record would have been better if he actually like, you know, again, let's, let's say, you know, Texco Green, for example, same content, same lyrics. G it, if you're singing, give me a fucking melody I want to hear. Give me a fucking melody I can remember and, and give us a chorus with like, you know, s some built up production of beat switch or something. So that there's actually like a memorable part of the damn song like leave everything else about the track the same essentially and just add those couple of parts it would have been a better song but 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 I, but instead of doing that he's kind of like he's got this vague idea of this girl thing that he wants to talk about which is fine and all he wants to do is just kind of like give you these melodies that nobody fucking remembers for 4 or 5 minutes without putting in any without putting in any effort but and, how and, and do you and know? How you the do most you understated, know? Understated, soulless vocal listen, delivery listen, listen. That, what you're, he's, that he's put out in a while. What you're what you're saying is you're arguing that he's not making effort. How would you know? Like just look at the way that he's singing. Think about the singing performances that he gave on Take Care, and how passionate those were in comparison with like. But there's there's like no fucking soul in it. He sounds like a fucking robot. <sighs> but uh, I. I uh, I'm trying to follow you here, but it's just like, I, it is, uh, sorry, am I speaking another fucking language here? I get what you're trying to say, but no, like, it's, bro, I, it's, it's like, it's, uh, you I'm, don't I'm know. not giving you Dude, a paragraph here, it, buddy. It, it's a couple of sentences. Put it like this. Put it like this. Put it like this. Let, okay. He's putting out the, he doesn't know if you put out 15, whatever this is, 14 songs, right? Yeah. How is he going to know what everyone's going to like? Like, how how would somebody know that? Dude, it, it's, it has nothing to do with, like, predicting what people like. It's like, I can tell he's 
just riffing in the studio because that's what, what this you, sounds like. I've seen people riff in the studio. Like I've that? heard that's people so riffing insane. in the studio. I've heard records where artists after the fact admit to like, yeah, we just, we don't even write anything. We were just like, you, you think Drake sat down and wrote this record out like fucking carefully, like in the, on, on the pad with the pen. Like he, they literally put these beats on. And he's just like, yeah, let me just like do whatever over them and we'll just throw it together. I, I don't know. How, I don't know how you can just so confidently say this, though, bro. Because Drake has written songs and written albums where he very so clearly has like written out a fucking verse and has made sure that every line fucking hits. And and so so this album, you have to rate it like against other albums and stuff. It can't be like, oh, this is just Drake doing like a dance thing. This it can't be it, that. Yeah, it has it, to it's, be. It's it's not about like I I give you point of points of comparison in his old catalog that I like more just to just to show you that I'm not just blindly hating Drake no matter what he does. There are things that I think that I enjoy from him, and there are things that I think he's done that are better. But for me personally, like the rating for this record is just like with any other record. It personally just comes down to my own enjoyability, and I didn't enjoy anything off of this record outside of a couple songs. <laughs> oh my God. Well, I, I said in the review, I think Sticky's great. And I think the closer's great. I think the production on Massive is really good. I think the production on Keeper is pretty good too. But outside of that, I, I think the record is, is mostly just throwaway. When I, oh my God, bro. This is like, why, why, why is that so funny to you? I just asked you if you could like remember a melody from a track that you were playing a few minutes before I came on and you couldn't. Like I obviously you're not sing. you're not I retaining it. You're telling me to like perform right now. I can't. I'm not sing. asking you to perform it. I'm asking you're telling you like me to sing is, melodies. I'm, I'm asking you. You're, you're you're telling me this record is like so standout, but I'm asking you. Do you remember it? You're listening to it right now. I, is there anything that first, actually? I'm like, not saying it's so it? standout. I never said. Oh, it's so standout. What I'm saying is this: when I first listened to the album, uh -huh. when it came out, I was disappointed. I was like, damn, like. You know, there was there wasn't that many like off the first listen where I'm like, oh shit, this is like crazy, right? Yeah. Which that's happened with uh, like you just said, if you're reading this too late, whatever, right? I remember that happening with other Drake albums, whatever. But the reason it didn't happen is because these songs are like they're not like they're not like the other Drake songs where he like writes out a whole thing and it's like this whatever. It's just like a, it's like a catch. He's trying to make catchy songs. TikTok but there's nothing catchy like, about it. I asked you to hum a part that was catchy from the fucking song you were playing and you dude, couldn't. It's not catchy. Dude, I, dude, I've been on TikTok for the last two days. Every single one of these songs, there's like a fucking a, a hundred thousand Okay, videos. well then what's a part of a song that you've been seeing on TikTok that sticks out to you? Um, uh, the, your pussy uh, shit. I don't know. <laughs> the, uh. The part where the uh, dude again, I'm not a singer. I can't sing. Okay, okay. I'm just now, now, now what again, I'm again, listen, listen. Granted, that part is catchy, but the thing is, like, that's just a that's just a tiny ass fucking clip in a couple thrown together parts. That's not really like an entire song, you know. But listen, like that that single part is cool for like a 10, 15 second TikTok video, but like outside I, of that. But that's what the music industry is. Yeah, it right is. Now? But it does it doesn't make for a good album. <laughs> okay, I get what you're saying, but that's like uh, but that's see, like you see, just being see, like, here, oh, I don't like how thing. music here's is right now. I, I actually, I actually like personally, and, and I've talked about this. I actually like that TikTok is driving some artists that make you know mainstream and pop music to like actually be more conscious of how catchy their music is because they know that if they do come up with a really catchy part, that they, they, it can go viral on TikTok. I actually like that about TikTok. But the thing is, is that that shouldn't leave you in a position as an artist where you're like, yeah, let's just have a random fucking intro and then interrupt it and then throw a part about your pussy in there and that the kids will like. And then, yeah, that, 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 that's not a fucking song. That's, not, that's, that's, that's being lazy. That's being lazy. You can write an entire song around the whole my pussy part if you want, but like actually make it a fucking song around or about that and then have that be the thing instead of just having like consciously throwing a 20 second clip in your track that you know the kids on TikTok are going to latch onto. That's just lazy. But like Drake just released an album nine months ago then and you even said like, oh, I'm surprised he came out with it this quick. Yeah. So he's not, he's putting shit out. Wouldn't you rather, wouldn't anyone rather who likes music Rather, like one of the biggest artists, constantly be putting stuff out instead of what Kendrick does. Uh, listen, I, I didn't say it was a bad thing. I just said I was surprised. That's all. 
No, I'm, I know. I'm just saying I'd rather I think people would rather hearing more from someone than hearing less from someone. Hey, listen, the more, means- Drake, the more Drake puts out music, the more reviews I do, the more talks with you that I do. I get to have nice conversations. So the more Drake puts out, the better, in my opinion. Jesus Christ. I mean, dude, dude, first of all. Guys, anyone who's sitting here saying this is a debate, whatever, there's no winning this debate. I'm there's nothing me or anyone can say that he's gonna be like, dude, you know what? Oh my god, fuck. Drake is the best. That's not gonna happen, bro. All I can do is try to pick your brain and understand why you have this opinion about Drake. And I just wanna like go like, is the reason because you love music so much that you see this guy's one of the best and he doesn't care the way like other musicians who you review and you listen to care. Is that is could that be part of it? No, I I would like Drake to care in his own Drakey kind of way, you know, because no, what again, does that like mean? I what said does that earlier, mean? um, you know, I, I think he's I think he's put out great singles and great records in the past where he has so obviously cared about like how the chorus sounds, about the message that he's putting across about whether or not there are some standout lyrics that you want to repeat with him, you know, some bars or verses that everybody like remembers. There are points where in in his career, I think he has like genuinely cared about making like a really good quality standout song that uh, is is going to stick with people. And um, I, I just don't think that moment was this album. I think he's like made some background music here and I think he's better than this. When, when, when I, when I say I want a better Drake, when I say I want a better record from Drake, I don't mean that he needs to go on the album like Kendrick and, you know, just be like, look at all I done for you. Look at all I done for you. And, you know, just like rap super deep fucking shit. No, I'm, I'm happy with Drake being in his feelings. I'm happy with Drake sort of just, you know, uh, uh rap and catchy stuff, just, you know, going from a zero to a hundred real quick and, you know, YOLO, YOLO, YOLO. I'm, I'm fine with all that stuff. All that stuff is catchy. You know, but the, the, the thing is, like, I don't find anything about falling back to catchy. I don't find anything about currents with the fucking squeaky bed bullshit catchy. It's just annoying. So you find zero songs, less than half the songs catchy. On on this, I find a couple. I think Sticky is great. I think I think the closer with 20 Minutes Savage is great. I think the beats on Keeper and Massive are very good. Uh, pretty much everything else is a snooze, especially liability. It's just a bad slow motion Drake song. Guys, listen to me. I know you've been listening to this this whole time, Chad. I want you to really pay attention to this right now. <laughs> this is an amazing album. Okay? It's <laughs> Wait, not just okay. Before you were it's saying, I didn't say good. it was standout, but now you're saying it's amazing? It's, what is it's it? It's amazing. Pick, pick a okay? struggle. And the reason it's amazing is... Is not just because all oh, the songs are good, whatever. The reason it is amazing is because look what's happening, bro. I don't know if you guys go on the fucking. I know this. I know. I know this guy goes on the internet. Everyone is talking about this. Okay. That is the pure genius of Drake. Say whatever you want to say. Talk whatever shit you want to say. He is the most streamed artist, bro. Okay. He is, dude, for a reason. Okay. Because everyone is going to listen to it, whether you hate it or you love it, or you, oh my God, I got to see what people are talking about. No other artist can do this, bro. They can't do it. And guess what happens? People get salty. People like this dude and other people get salty. They get, they're like, why? Why Drake? Why? Dude, sometimes there's no reason, dude. No, wait, it's wait, just, wait. Dude, it's Drake, Don't put words in my mouth. Like, I'm not sitting here thinking like, why is Drake so popular? I know why Drake is popular. <laughs> I know why Drake is why? popular. Drake, Drake, especially this record. This album is very inoffensive. It's very easy to listen to. It's very, you know, like you said, it's fine in a club context. Anybody who's everybody can relate to it because everybody has an ex that they miss. Um, Drake is genuinely like a very appealing kind of, you know, usually like kind of charismatic uh, magnetic figure. I, I understand why yeah. Drake is popular. I just don't think he yeah. makes, uh, I just think sometimes, especially in this why, case, why he, he doesn't make very good tracks. Hate, hmm? People Sorry, need, the, people need to hate. Like, I mean, it's the same thing with, I mean, Listen, you get to a point like it's like people are just going to hate on you, bro. It's like okay. it's like ups- it's upsetting, bro. Yeah, no, I, I I get it. People fucking wish I was dead. I mean, it is what it is. 
I mean, how do you, when people hate on you, like, what do you think about those people? I just want to, uh, your opinion. I, it's just like background noise at this point. I mean, I've, I've heard everything. So maybe, I don't know, bro. I, <sighs> I'm sure Drake's heard everything at this point too. Yeah, I, I guess, I guess. And, and what do you think? And let's get a little, but I don't know how much time you have, but I just want to, cause last time you got a little, uh, you know, psychological here. I yeah, want to hear we, we your did. take on this. Are you, are you trying to get psychological now? I want to get a little psychological cause I've been drinking a little bit. I can get, uh -huh. I can think you, deep you need a right therapy now. session. No, 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 no. I, 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 your opinion on this, right? Okay. What does all those comments and you see the type of comments that Drake gets and you fucking, I mean, you're <laughs> a lot of them stem. Some of them stem from you making a video like this or whatever. But my point is this, those comments that Drake sees, right? Mm -hmm. How do you think that affects him making music? Um, I think it depends on the era of Drake that we're talking about, because, you know, you were referencing some of those, you know, Drake, the kind of guy memes earlier. Um, and, and I think there was a point in time where they did very obviously get to him and the fact that he wasn't taken very seriously as a hip hop artist because he wasn't hard and he wasn't this and he wasn't that. I, I, I think all of that definitely got to him. And, um, you know, I, I don't know exactly when personally, you know, he kind of turned, but I, I think he reached a point where he just didn't really give a fuck anymore, uh, because he doesn't have to, you know, like, obviously like the numbers and the streams cannot be competed with, and he doesn't need to kind of twist himself into lyrical pretzels to impress anybody or prove that he's like at the top of the game. Um, you know, I, I think, uh, you know, there, there was definitely a point earlier in his career where those comments hurt him. Um, I don't know if they have too much of an effect on him uh, anymore. You know, I, I think he's probably got other things to worry and think about. I mean, I, I can't imagine there's anything on the internet about him that's new. You know, I certainly haven't seen anything on the internet about him that's new. When I see people making fun of Drake, it's like the same shit I've seen since like 2015. You know what I mean? Um, so, so I guess my follow up to that is, do you think that in your honest opinion, do you think that you personally will hear a Drake album, a new Drake album that will be in your opinion, you know, good in your standards? Again, yeah, I, I think, I think, I think Drake has the means and the potential to make a new record that I, I could enjoy. Uh, and and is is generally better than what he's putting out now, but I, I don't think there's a lot of pressure for him to do so because, like you said, you know, the music industry is in a position where you know he can throw a 20 second clip into a fucking song that's not really connected to the rest of the track, and it'll go crazy on TikTok. You know, um, I, I think the music industry isn't really at a point where <sighs> Drake, Drake is really punished for coming out with mediocre music because, you know, it, it doesn't bear out in the streams because everybody wants to hear it because, oh, everybody's going to hear it. So we're curious about what it is because we want to have a conversation about it. Um, we want to be in the middle of the polarization and the controversy and the stirring of the pot around whatever the fuck Drake does. Uh, it's kind of like a really weird and, and it's, it's difficult to describe because, you know, I, I think culturally in the music industry, this is the first time we've ever reached this point because of the internet, because of social media, because of streaming. But like Drake is an anomaly in that he's the only artist and, and maybe people like Kanye come close to where whenever he puts something out, it makes this insane feedback loop of conversation where it's like everyone engages in it, not for the quality or the content of the music, but because they know there's going to be a conversation going on. Uh, so it's like everybody dives in because we're, everybody's going to be talking about it and everybody's going to be listening to it. It's going to be this universal experience that we all need to, you know, kind of have a collective, um, you know, experience over, even if that experience isn't altogether good because, you know, hum humans are a social species and, uh, you know, we are searching for things that we can all kind of collectively experience to kind of gauge each other's experiences off of that. That's just kind of normal behavior. It's just the internet and music and streaming and algorithms have kind of like, you know, uh, I, I think kind of uh, siphoned that natural process into a, 
a series of bastardized, uh, capitalized interactions that, uh, you know, people who own these platforms make money off of while we're just kind of, you know, uh, running around like with uh, chickens that have their heads cut off. That's, um, you know, I, uh, <clears throat> that's, that's a, that's a, that's an interesting way to look at it. Um, I, 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 per, I personally like, listen, I, I think about, I feel like I think about shit that, um, <laughs> wait, hold on. I got a question in my chat. I just need to throw it out there to you real quick before I say anything. <laughs> Uh, and I've been drinking, by the way. If anyone's like, "Oh, dude, what's wrong with this guy?" I didn't know I was going to stream tonight. Okay, um, I got yeah, one. I, 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 I DM'd him out of the blue, and I said, about- the, I, "I DM'd him, and I said, hey, the review's going up.'" <laughs> no, but I was already drinking. <laughs> I know you were. I know you were. I, I, I'm just, I'm just telling everybody like, how this started. But listen, someone, someone in my chat goes, "Ask Fantano how he feels about Logic saying he wanted to murder him." I actually want your opinion. I saw that. Yeah, I saw those I, I lyrics. Think, I, th- I think it's weird. It's it's weird. I just <laughs> I just I just review music. There's there's no reason to want to murder me. <laughs> Dude. Dude. And but you know him because you talk to him and shit. Yeah, I've had conversations with him, like you know, a couple of conversations on the phone where he was talking to me about the way my reviews had sort of made him think about his music. And I, you know, essentially said to him, like, my opinion doesn't fucking matter. Like, I'm just getting my opinion on music. It's not that deep. It's not that serious. You are a multimillionaire <clears throat> rapper with tons of fans who's toured the world and has had tons of songs that are very popular that, you know, the, 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 no matter how much content I put out, more people are going to know his most popular songs than are ever going to know or, you know, have heard my voice or whatever. Like, what I say shouldn't have that deep of an impact on you and, and what you do. You're just doing what you do. Um, and and but, that's it. But I mean, the that's thing is what I communicate. This is, guy. this is, hold on. This is interesting because you're a review, like you review songs, but you yeah. also are on the internet and have people who could like not fuck with you. Like, so you actually can see both sides of like, you see like an artist and like a review, like you see both sides, right? So, you know, like, if there's somebody actively trying to make you look bad or like whatever on the internet, like you're going to feel some type of way about them. The murder is that's insane to say murder, but like you, like you get the gist of it. Like, so I kind of, in a weird way, like I kind of see what Logic's saying when he gets like mad and he's like, because he's like, dude, dude, he probably like was a fan of you. And then he's like, you know what I mean? Because he, you know, he likes the internet and shit. He streams, whatever. He sees you shit on him. He's like, dude, fuck you, bro. Like, I don't know. I, but you I, know, that's I, I, just- I guess, I guess here's the, 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 the point that I want to illustrate uh, essentially. And, and I, and I get why artists have a hard time doing this because they put themselves into their music, you know? So, yeah. so when, when you critique their music, they feel like you are critiquing them. Some of them can, uh, you know, but the thing is like, at the end of the day, like I don't, it, what I say about your music and I keep it to the music. I don't come into my reviews and say, Drake's a fucking loser. He's a fucking prick. He's an idiot. I don't come into my reviews and say, (laughs) logic's a piece of shit. He's uh, you know, I don't come up with a bunch of biracial, you know, whatever about fucking memes about logic and all my reviews. Um, (laughs) You know, when, when I come on there, it's about the record and it's not personal. It's not personal because it couldn't possibly be personal because I don't even fucking know Drake. I don't even know anything about that man on a personal level. I'm just talking about the man's music. I may not like it. And there are records of logics that I reviewed very negatively before I ever had a conversation with him. That again, it's not personal because I don't know you. I don't know you personally. And even still at this point, I've never hung out with logic, you know, and and whenever we've talked, it's mostly been about just, you know, again, this topic. I get it. But I'm saying like, you know what, like the comments are going to be bad when you're I mean, you're the they, people like yeah, you. Yeah, but the th- but the thing is, generally the commenters because they're fucking anonymous and they're commenters, they, they're the ones that take it too fucking far, you know, because they, they don't have anything of substance to say a lot of the times, and you know, they're just like coming on there to attack the artist and make a joke at somebody's expense so they can feel better about themselves, and you know, that's that's them and that's their problem, and that's just kind of what comments generally are. Yeah, no, no, I see that, I see that. Um, fuck, I mean, listen, dude, I. I don't know. I um I don't know how this even turned into this. I just 
I literally you, you actually said, you don't said know. you wanted to go on a deep psychological dive, so. I mean, well, I guess, did you even really answer, like, do you think there will be a day, like, honestly, that you'll listen to a Drake album and be like, dude, I like this? Again, I think Drake can, but there's no, I, th I think there's no incentive for Drake to do it. Honestly, like I. So I then your I answer, your answer, your you answer is no. You're saying that the best of Drake is behind him. Yeah, I I think so, but mostly because like, listen, the the best moments in most discographies from a lot of artists occur when there's like pressure. Pressure makes fucking diamonds. Maybe not in all cases, but the thing is like generally, I I think that's true. On Drake right now, I think there's no pressure. I don't think there's any pressure on Drake. Who's pressuring Drake to do what? What is Drake? What is Drake feeling the pressure from right now? He has no competition. There's no trends or whatever. Like every single thing that he does seems to spur off into some. There, there's no trend he needs to follow in order to stay relevant. There's literally no pressure on the man. So how does someone like that, who's so huge, he's so big, how the f how can somebody like that even do? What you're sa like saying you want them to do, like how would they even get to that point, bro? How how does how does Drake get to that point? Yeah, like how any I mean anybody anybody. <clears throat> well, really. I mean Drake make Drake has made you know uh, great records and Drake. I know what uh, he's you know, done, I, but Drake, I'm saying Drake, in the for future. the most part, listen the the whole like first half of Drake's discography changed the face of modern hip hop. Like, I mean, pretty much every rapper that comes out is also expected to be a singer now. That's because of Drake. That's because of Drake. Yeah. You know, and, and the thing is like this, this, you know, it used to be back during the bling era when I was, you know, growing up and listening to hip hop in college when everybody was like, oh, I got this, I got that and da, 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 da. Like, it's because of Drake that that narrative has sh kind of shifted into like, oh, I have all these things, but it's also because I have, I have a hole inside me. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm also missing my ex and, and so on and so forth. There's so many things that Drake has yeah. changed to where like, you know, so many people out there sound like a Drake clone these days because he's I just kind of like set the table that everybody's eating at. And because everybody is following him and you hear his sound and you hear his fingerprint pretty much all over the mainstream of hip hop, like, yeah. you know, he's he's kind of untankable, you know, until I, I, th I think one day Drake will be irrelevant but it's going to take wait, you think, uh, it's it's going to take wait, another generation of musical singers like to come in and up. just be like one day drake will what I, uh, one day i think drake will be irrelevant because nobody stays relevant forever but that's going to happen probably at the hand of a new generation coming in and saying we we don't like this we reject this we want to hear a new thing and that's it we want our own artist that represents our generation at the top of everything and that's who we want to hear and that's who we want to see reflected because you have to kind of consider like drake is getting to an age like yeah he does make relatable music but like zoomers are getting to the point and alphas will get to a point where they don't relate to this man he's going to be in his fucking 40s and 50s singing over whatever fucking beat that he wants to about how his ex doesn't talk to him anymore and <laughs> you know some 14 year old kids are going to want to fucking listen to that they're going to want to listen to somebody who is their own age telling some story that they relate to. Yeah. No, I get it. I get it. But the thing is, um, I don't think there's like an age with Drake's music that you need to be able to relate to him. That's just my opinion. I think like, I think like a kid in high school could listen to Drake and it's not, it's not about his age. It's about like this, the situation. But anyway, listen, I don't think we're going to reach any type of like agreement or anything. I want to say that, that agreeing with you isn't necessarily a point for me. I just come on here because I, I love yeah. your energy and uh, I, I have a good time <laughs> talking to you. So we might not agree on Drake, but I always, uh, it's, it's always a pleasure. I got to, I'm too, I got to go to sleep, bro. I'm going to be okay, honest. Yeah, yeah. I'm you, on the you, East coast. You, you go to sleep. Yeah, man. All right. Um, but I'm, I, I'm going to watch this shit on YouTube. I got to see, I got to read the comments on this. So yeah. Yeah, it'll, it'll, uh, it'll be up tomorrow. All right, man. Listen, until next time, bro.